So my Canon camera always records horizontally, doesn't matter if I rotate the camera or not. And now I have a bunch of clips that I want to send to a client and I don't want to do it in Premiere Pro. So I want just to compress from the 4K, that is the settings of my camera, to HD and rotating vertically. Well, also the color doesn't look good because I use a C log. Just create one preset in Adobe Media Encoder. No need to pass through Premiere Pro and all the clips will be duplicated with the correct settings. So let's do the first thing is create the preset in Adobe Media Encoder. Let's launch Adobe Media Encoder. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is just import one clip. Now we're going to change the presets here. The first thing that I want to do is to select, just to be quick, I'm going to select YouTube Full HD. And as you can see, I already has the presets over here. Now you can change the presets and I really recommend to render at the maximum depth and use maximum render quality uh, because we are changing the orientation. Now let's correct the color. So I'm going to go to effects, apply the lumetric look LUT and let's import the LUT that I use for this type of situation. If you are applying the LUT, I really advise you to accept the SDR conform. Now let's rotate this footage. First of all, I'm going to put it vertically. Perfect. And now I'm going to rotate it 270. As I use a grip on my camera, I always have 270 degrees to rotate. Now that the preset is done, let's save it. So we're going to press here, nine by so rotate. Okay. There you go. And let's press OK. As you can see now in user presets, here it is. Now that the preset is done, every single time that I have a bunch of clips to rotate and change the color, it's very simple. I'm going to import all of them into Adobe Media Encoder. Boom. By default, Adobe Media Encoder will select the last preset that you use, but if it's not the correct one, you just select them all and click on the arrow and select your preset that you want to apply. Now, if you want to double check, oh, I'm going to just select one and there we go. It looks good. Now just press play and let the magic happen. A few moments later. And there you go. All the files are exported. And as you can see, it's a huge mess here on this folder. So what I usually do, I just go to the search bar on Windows and I write down underscore one dot mp4. If I search for it, there we go. Now it's just displaying the vertical clips. How cool is that? So if you want to rotate the videos on the inside of Premiere Pro, I have that tutorial over there. There you go. So drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm Miguel, until next time, see ya.